So today's video, I want to add a cross brace to the frame and it's going to go right behind the engine here, right on the frame. So I've already measured from that point to this point and I'm taking that measurement and then I'm adding the diameter of the tubing that I'm working with because I need to leave additional material for notching it. So on paper, this is kind of what I'm talking about. So let's say that's the measurement between the frame rails there. And then what I do is I take that measurement plus I add this amount and that amount is the uh, diameter of the tubing. So I add that to the total length and I do that so that I can take half of that and put it at each end for notching. And uh, when all is said and done then I should have the correct measurement between the frame rails plus I have the additional amount here for the uh, notching. So here's one of my marks. So I want my hole saw to be just on that mark. And here's the other mark. So this distance is now half the diameter of the tubing. So this is my cheapy tubing notcher. Picked it up on eBay. And uh, the couple of bucks that I paid for it, definitely worth the money. But before I make my first cut, there's my mark. I like to just verify that it's level. And that comes in handy for making the second cut. So I want to make the second cut here now and I've got it basically lined up and remember before I was telling you guys I like to make sure that the uh, tubing notcher is level before I start. So here's why I do that. I want to have both of these cuts at the same angle and I can verify that now if I take another second piece of tubing and I put it in the first notch and I put a level on it and if it's level I can go ahead and make the second cut. If it's not then I have to rotate the tube until I get my uh, level correct here. Hey, you know what? I remember something from last year. If I take half the diameter and use that to make the notch, it's actually a little bit excessive because it makes these ends sharp. You see that? And if they're sharp like that, it's thin and it, uh, it's harder to uh, make a nice weld there. So I'm going to have to finish this off by taking the cutting disc and cut these tips off right about here. So. Uh, the measurement from here to the other side should still be good. It's just uh, it's a little bit more work now because I uh, made them sharp. So what, what I'm going to have to do now is cut one of those ears off so that just one side wraps around and then the other side is cut short so it fits this piece of tubing. It's kind of like a half notch. So I can get ready to just tack it in there now. I won't weld it until the engine is out so I can get in behind there and uh, get that welding done, you know. So that's the idea. But if I was going to actually make a piece for up here, then I would want to leave both of the ears on there so that it would make a nice weld on both sides, you know, all like all around. But then I would have a hard time getting it in there. You know what I mean? Because that ear would be in the way. So see these pieces here? They're not welded in yet because, like at the time, I hadn't uh, decided yet where I was going to put them. But I made them ahead of time and uh, put them into the frame. And then I uh, started welding the frame together, knowing that later on, I'm going to slide these in the right position. See, I can't even get these out right now. Because uh, that was figured out ahead of time that I was going to need them. So they're already there waiting for me. And uh, that's just a little bit of thinking ahead, guys. So. We'll talk to you guys later.